I have to leave now. Hmm? I've got to get to my office. Hmm? Call a car hire service whenever you're ready to go. Okay? That's all right. Good. So, what about the money? <laughs> the money I promised you, right? Yeah. Okay. This is 150,000 Naira. Use this and pay for the car hire service. I'll call you soon. Okay? Thanks, Daddy. You're welcome. What? You promised me 200,000 Naira because of what I told you. I know. Don't worry. I'll send one of my boys later with a check. Okay? You can count on me. You know, I always want you to be happy all the time. Thanks, love. I love you so much. I love you too. Ahmed and his wahala. Each time I go to see that man, he does not want me to go. What's this thing between you and this Alaji Ahmed? That guy has blindfolded you in this town. Girlfriend, with the kind of money that man pays just to go to the back door, I'm not ready to see any other man. 200,000 naira. Babe, forget it all. What? Don't you know that that thing has an after effect? Don't give a damn. You know I am so tired. I want to catch some sleep. I'm hungry. Is there food in the house? Yeah. Try the kitchen. Thank you, dear. Two hundred thousand naira. Two hundred thousand naira just to make love through the back. No, no, no. Suzanne is not telling the truth. 200,000 there. That means five times is one cool million. And Susan has been seeing this man constantly. I thought you were someone I know. I'm so sorry. No, that's all right. It takes just a day to know. Why don't you just come and let me drop you off somewhere? No, that won't be necessary. I'm really, really sorry. Sorry. Sorry for the bother. Oh, come on. Stop that. I'm sure they're not going to dismiss you from the service because I gave you a lift. Come on, it's too hot. Can't afford to watch a pretty lady like you walk down the road under this hot sun. Come on. Let's go. Okay. All right.
passion. How long have you been serving? Well, I just started. Started? You know, those are talking about passing out. Yes, I was posted to Abuja initially, and I got a redeployment to Calabar. And after seven months there, I was posted back here to start all over again. Oh, uh, well. That's probably because you didn't go through the right channels. But other coppers prefer Abuja here. Well, that's the problem. Every copper wants to come here. But you see, for instance, you saw me trekking along the road. That's because I didn't have money for cabs. Things are so tough here. Come on. I mean, cabs are about the cheapest thing you can get in Abuja here. Okay then, so what about accommodation? You need to come and see where I sleep. The rent here is so expensive. But don't government provide accommodation for you guys anymore? At least in those days I know we used to have a um, um, Corpus Lodge. That was then. Things have changed. That's alright. Um, Things will never be the same again, I promise. I mean, a pretty girl like you is not supposed to be suffering when you have men like us in Abuja here. If you say so. Good. Want some more meat? No, I'm fine. Thank Drink? You. Place you've got here. Thank you. Well, now that I know the place, can I go now? Go home. Come on, why the rush? Just relax, let me get you something to drink. I was going somewhere before you picked me. That I know. But you see, now that I've met you, I wouldn't want to let you go. Besides, you told me you're not very comfortable where you stay. And this is weekend, so why don't you just spend the weekend with me? How can you just meet me today and you expect me to spend the weekend with you? Besides, I'm going to Lagos to see my uncle to see if he can raise me some money so I can sort out my accommodation problem. Except if you want to assist me. Just promise first. Okay then, I promise. Good. So you sit down and let me get you something to drink. Come on. Thank you. What would you like to drink? Wine, brandy, whiskey? Anything. Anything is nothing. Just say it. Okay, wine. Wine. Red wine, I suppose. Yeah, yeah red wine, please. That's good. Thank you.
to hustle for job, you know. Oh. Weekend like this, I, I go back mm, to see yeah. Girlfriend, that Suleja is a dead town. This is where it is happening. <laughs> yeah, look at you. <laughs> look at you. You know what? Hey, just get your bag, eh? You come spend some time with me, at least this weekend. Now. Let me show you how. Hey, get, get your bag. <laughs> You are telling me. You see the other big girls in this town. <laughs> oh yeah? Modest. Talk yeah. about being modest. Seriously, Susan. Things were so rough. Up not where I served. Mm -hmm. I mean, I spend my, my allowance, my monthly allowance, before I even get it. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> that reminds me. Agnes is here with me. Really? I hear she's in Abuja. Where is she? Well, she has gone for an assignment. I expect her back by Monday morning. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Does she work in the same company as you? No, she has her own arrangements. Hey! You girls are living up large. You can say that again. Hey, Susan. Things are difficult up not to. <laughs> I don't change base. Uh -huh. Girl, I'm moving into town. <laughs> Girl, just, look, don't be too hasty in making that decision. It's all about desiring. Desiring is about looking for opportunities. I mean, you go out there, you search for it, and sometimes you get it. <laughs> Glad this you never change. <laughs> Who would you want all this? <laughs> hey. First things first. Please, where can I get my son? Oh, come, come, come. Let me show you to the toilet and I'll show you to your place. <laughs> Can you have this? my elder sister's friend's house and she's married so I wouldn't want you to come and look for me there. That's all right. Uh, but so how am I going to see you when I want to see you? Um, well, I already have your card and your number so and I'll soon get my place and I'll give you the address. I can't really wait for that. Babe. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. No pick? Of course, yes. <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh, 
Kevin. All right, baby. Cheers. Take care of us, love. Yes, Chief, like I was saying, okay. Uh, until you are back now, I can still make you come here. So, all right, thank you. There are two ladies at the reception waiting to see you, sir. Who are they? Cynthia and Prisca. They say they're from Ultimate Insurance Company. Ultimate Insurance? Yes, sir. All right, let them know. Okay, sir. From the Ultimate Insurance Company. My name is Cynthia. My colleague here is Priska. We're marketing agents. Cynthia and Priska. So, what do you market? Well, we have a new insurance scheme that will interest you. You know what? I was about going out for lunch when you came in. So, why don't we go together? I think I will understand you better when I'm. And I've taken something, so if you don't mind. Yes. All right. Chubby, how are you? Where are you now? Uh, anyway, I'm heading to Calabar Kitchen. Just come over. There are some people I want you to meet over that insurance stuff you told me about. Uh, just confess. Okay, bye. So, where's my percentage? We will give you 10% of our commission. Ultimate insurance. Oh, uh, you girls are into insurance marketing, right? Yes. Cool. We have very beautiful insurance schemes that will enable you to take care of your children's education. Well, that's for those of them who already have children, not for some of us who are single and uh, still searching, you know. But that is where Ultimate Insurance have an edge over others. You know, 
You can start an education insurance with us, even before you're married. And by the time you start having kids, you already have enough to take care of your education. Sounds great. Our life insurance is still the best, just in case you want to invest in that. Frankly speaking, I'm interested. I'd like to invest in that, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, but let me eat first, and then yeah, you can tell me more about that later, okay? Okay, no problem. So, Mr. Jones, which one of them would you like to invest in? Well, you are my special advisor on insurance. You're not so serious. With whichever one you want oh, to invest in, I, I will do. <laughs> So why don't you start with life insurance? Okay, life insurance or education first. Life insurance. Whichever one you choose for me. Yeah. See you girls in my office on Monday morning, right? Okay. Okay, just like we discussed. All right. Bye. Yeah, have a great day. Right. Yeah. Are you guys staying the night here? Or? No, no, we're going home. Don't worry about us. Okay. In that case, I guess we should dress up so that I'll drop you off. money like you too. Do you know I was thinking of going back to the East? For real? <laughs> but I've changed my mind. This is where it's happening. I have to get a job in this town. <laughs> you see, Gladys, this town is very expensive. So if you're searching for a job, that job has to be worth it. Yeah. It has to pay well. That's the only way. Well, girl, that's not a problem. Okay. I mean, with the kind of 
connection you two have. <laughs> I'm sure I will find something meaningful, no matter how little. <laughs> well, oh, girlfriend, lovely. so what makes you think that we have that connection? Come on, girl. I mean, you two served here. Mm -hmm. You work here. I'm sure by now you know a lot of senators and ministers. You know the usual Abuja story. Oh God! Oh, go girl! Go! Oh girl! Yeah. Oh God! Well, let, let me tell you. Hmm? There is always a beginning. We won't encourage no. or discourage you. No. But it mustn't be in Abuja. That's right. Where else will you be? Oh yeah. Yeah. Look at me now. The fine girl. <laughs> I mean, this past few days. No, he has to remain this way. <laughs> I have to don't get worry, a job. You'll get that. <laughs> girl, don't worry. You will get a job. You will. Mm -hmm. you Trust me, you will. So, girls, let's drink up. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Let's toast to great friendship. Abuja, <laughs> <laughs> here you come. Hey, girl. Toast, toast, toast. Yeah, you have to drink up. Have yeah. To I have to get warmed up, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just what? Oh, come on. It, it's so easy and more interesting. You're going to enjoy it. No, okay? If that's what you want, then forget it. Forget it. Don't, don't be scared. No. You, you'll be a hundred thousand. No, forget it. Oh, hold it. Hold She running as if a masquerade is chasing her. All right. No, no, no. Wait. Your masquerade is chasing I'm, her. I'm, I'm, stop, stop. Look, don't, don't mind that fool. She, 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 she heard I give two hundred thousand naira, and she thinks she can just walk in here and collect it just like that. What exactly happened? I cannot believe that I offered that fool a hundred thousand naira to allow me to go through the back door, but she refused. Oh, she's just a little girl and inexperienced too. Look, I made her. I, I need girls that can carry it for me, you know, girls with style. If I want something usual, I'll go to my wife, but I, I need something extraordinary. <laughs> um, okay. There's this girl I know I can hook you up. Um, go ahead. Man, you need to see this girl. She is... She is... Voluptuous, she is. She is simply too much, though expensive. I mean, you know, money is not the problem. Okay, just go ahead and call her. I need someone to, to, to calm, calm my nerves. Okay. Um, where's my? Let me use this phone and call her. Or what will happen is, I call her, tell her to meet me here. When she comes, you take over from there. You know the drill. <laughs> just, just call. Hello, Alaji. Hello, Susan. Yes, I'm, I'm at home. I'm, I'm okay, I'm all right now. Listen, Susan, I need you. You know my friend Kunle, meet me at this place. I'll be waiting. Oh, Alaji, can't you wait till evening? Okay, you'll be traveling later today. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'll be there. 
I'll meet you up in an hour's time. There is something very important we need to talk about. All right, Aladdin. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I'll be expecting you. <laughs> uh, this girl is experienced. I, 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 I want experience, you know. Uh, um, why don't you get out of this place? I don't know where I stop. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm a Let me go, ready. Go, go, go. said she was going to see the guy. But I heard the guy drop paper. I wouldn't oh, mind wow. going. Yeah. You? Yes, same no. guy that went for Take it easy, sir. I don't you do two in one. It's not money. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not fair. Ah, it's you don't just start. Ah, we're ah. getting back. Hi, baby. What happened? Mm, don't tell me you didn't bring anything from that top shot. Which top shot? The one you're just coming back from. That man is an idiot. A demon. Ah, don't tell me he didn't settle you. He offered to give me a hundred thousand naira. What? Wow. Can you believe it? Hundred thousand? Yes. That is what I called showing a girl her words. No. And what happened? No, 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 no. The main gist uh, yeah. is that he wanted to have anal sex with me. I know what? Anal sex. What did you say? Oh. Yes. Okay. Anal sex? Anal sex. Hundred K is cool for me or for oral sex, but and it was sex. No it's way. Like yes. Imagine. What's that? I'd rather die than have a mind do humanize me like that. No, no. please. No. Oh my god. You've just been carried away by the gist of late. I mm. have to be in the campus and have a test. Alright, good wow. luck, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Really I, have, I have to go and use the bathroom. Alright, don't mind the man. He's just been very stupid. See you later. Alright, bye, Carol. What's going to happen for the evening? You, you know now. How are we going to? Move? I'm coming. I'm coming. I'll be there soon. All right. So you come out and tell me. Don't mind the fool. You know sex. I'm here to see you, Olaja. Are you Susan? Yes. Okay, use your phone though. That way. Thank you. Susan, the girl I'm called. Yes, he asked me to live in here. Uh, please, I have a seat. Thank you. Let me get you something to drink. All right, so is he here around? Uh, of course he is. Uh, well, he just kept on for a minute. Okay. And what's the poison? Brandy, wine, whatever. Brandy. Good. You're a very pretty girl, Susan. Do you have a girlfriend like you, you know? Tall, huge, curvy, voluptuous, you know? <laughs> Every person is unique in his or her own way. I can't have someone exactly like me except if I'm a twin. <sighs> what would I give to have a girl like you? I'll, I'll give everything, everything, you know? <laughs> I'm sure you must know or have someone with interesting virtues as I have. Well, um, <laughs> tell me, what do you do? I'm a copper. I used to serve up north. Then the weather wasn't favorable for me, so I asked for a redeployment. It was granted though, but I had to serve extra six months. Hmm. Copper, sure. <laughs> but not to worry. 
We will make it up to you. Oh, excuse me. Hello, Alhaji. I'm here right now. Honey, I'm sorry. I had to rush the airport. I'm on my way to Kaduna with the Senate Committee on Aviation. But you asked me to come here and I told you one hour. I was summoned immediately to the airport. In fact, I had wanted you to join us, but I, I, I had to rush off. So what am I going to do now? Listen, as I'm speaking to you right now, I'm about to board the flight. I'll call you later. But... I'll, I'll explain, I'll explain. Is everything all right? He asked me to come meet him here. And he, now he's on his way to Kaduna. Kaduna? Yes. Oh, 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 oh. That must be with the Senate Committee on Aviation. They will be there till next week. He should have told me all this. Don't worry. I'll make it up to you. I'll make it worth your while. I'm sorry, we've stopped collecting CVs. But the advertisement was in yesterday's dailies. Please help me. Let me at least drop my CV. We already have more than 600 CVs and applications for just nine vacancies. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about that. I'm so sorry. The vacancy has been filled. You were late. But there should be something. No matter how little. You see, more than a hundred has been here. Before a vacancy is even advertised, more than a hundred applications must have been tendered. But how do one know this? You must have an inside contact that can give you information and lobby for you as well. But I don't know anyone. Would you help me? You seem a nice girl. Here is my card. Give me a call within the week. I'll see what I can do. Thank you very much. I really appreciate this. My pleasure. Come on, I'll, I'll make it worth a while, okay? How do you expect me to sleep with you? I'm dating your friend. My friend is in far away Kaduna, and he won't be back till next week. Come on. If it's you, how will you feel? It's just for today, and it's going to be a secret between us. No, it's not worth it. Come on, Susan. You're a very pretty girl. A gift to mankind. Let's share some happiness, and you will not regret it, I promise you. So, if I agree, what will be my reward? I'll give 
give you 200,000 Naira cash. But we'll do it the other way. The other way? What gave you such an idea? <laughs> That's just my sexual preference. Oh. Don't worry, Susan. I will make you happy. I promise you. You have no idea what I am capable of doing. If that be the case, then you make it 250,000. I'll give you $2,500. Deal? Deal? <laughs> um, why don't you come with me to my guest bedroom? I want you to see what it looks like, you know. Today. Any new guy? Today was completely, totally dried up. What? <laughs> Where's Gladys? She's out searching for job. Susie, isn't about time we call that girl back to reality? miracle jobs in this town except if you belong to the corridors of power that will be telling her too much and killing her morale too but she can't go on parading the streets of abuja every day she said she met this guy that promised to give her a job okay right before we knew it we had slept the entire management team please i just don't know how to tell this girl this thing <sighs> Well, let me go and take this thing up before Gladys comes back. Okay. Is there something to eat? Yes. I tried that spaghetti you were telling me about. For real? Yeah. This is it, Sir, so we've not heard from you since. Hmm. Yes, that's why I've decided to call you. I can't come to your hotel. I'm not feeling too fine. Cynthia. Um, Cynthia is not around. Sir, so, so why should we come for the insurance thing we discussed? You're traveling. When are you coming back? Next week. Okay, until next week. Bye. Now what? Yeah. Can you imagine this stupid man? You won't waste your money for that man when you get interested in any insurance scheme. He's merely looking for someone to sleep with. Hmm. But why are men like this? Huh? Honestly. I regret what we did with Jones and his friend. I feel so dirty. I feel so dirty sleeping with two men. 
at the same time, on the same bed. That is not a stress. My annoyance is, even after what we did, they just gave us 5,000 Naira. Tell me, what is 5,000 to compare to what we did? Yours is even better. You slept with two men, two to beat two. Mm -hmm. Mine is two to beat one. Two men, same bed, same night, just for them to open an account to our bank. And at the end of the day, nothing, nothing. The story is <laughs> come to day, come tomorrow. Anyway, I just paid the invest in us as a promise. So if not, I'll feel very bad. The better I invest. Who's not? I told you. Hmm. Amen. Hmm. I'm tired. She's out for her. What's happening now? I'm outside, you know. Mm -hmm. Somebody needs you. Nice work. And the guy is the big guy. He's an old. You know the normal thing. <laughs> Okay. So, I'll tell you uh, stories today. You might be lucky you jam one good one tomorrow. All the same. so sweet. <laughs> Can I ask you a favor? Go ahead. Would you mind spending the weekend with me? That's not a problem. But am I still getting the letter from next week? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Your CV is already with the human resources manager. And he's going to pen down your name as a personal favor to me. I'm so glad. Let me get the job first. And there is nothing you will ask of me that I will give. Mm, that's my baby. <laughs> <laughs> to confirm. Dangerous man. But as you know, there is no vacancy in my department. Then let's do it our own thing. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Have a nice day. something else. I could not wait for daybreak so I could run away from her. Didn't you notice the other one asking for more after two rounds? Hmm. What I need now is a hot shower, good food, and a good sleep. Did I hear you say good sleep? Have you forgotten we have an appointment with Jones? Please go and dress up. Let's go and meet him at the office. Oh gosh, you know I almost forgot. Let yeah. me go and change.
Emma. On you. Yes, uh, there are two ladies coming in right now. Tell them I'm on the office. Okay, sir. That I'll travel to Kaduna and I'll be back next week. Very much, sir. Okay. We're here to see Mr. Jones. Any previous appointment? Yes, there is. Well, he's out of town. But he asked us to see him today. I'm sorry, I don't know about that. <laughs> sorry, please, when will he be back? Next week. Next week. Yes. All right, thanks. You're welcome. Have a nice day. She says her name is Angela. Yes, sir. And she said outside, sir. This is my card. If I can please her, please. All the same, let her in. I saw my card and I was wondering who Angela really is. I am Ijoma. Ijoma. How am I saying? You're her friend. Yes, um, actually I came around the neighborhood to make my hair and I decided to check her hair and know if she's here. That fool. She can't come here again. She wants to die a poor girl. But I didn't know she had a friend as um beautiful as you. You don't know because you chose Ijoma and the rest of us decided to stay away. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. That's not fair. It's a free world. You will definitely want something to drink. I wouldn't mind, sir. <laughs> Demola! Demola! Get me a bottle of brandy from the room upstairs. Sorry, sir. Um, red wine will do. It's all right. Get the lady a bottle of red wine. Okay, sir. Um, 
Angela, why don't you come closer? Okay, uh, make your sitting wear off. Um, I hope I won't be stepping on some people's toes. I'm not at all. Uh, come, come, my dear, come here. is from a good friend of mine, Mr. Eric. Your credentials here are perfect. But one thing is lacking. You have no working experience. Uh, I, ju I just finished serving. I, I have to work first to gain experience. Experience is one of the major criteria for this job. But Eric said that won't be a problem. Oh yes, that wouldn't be a problem, certainly. That means I'll have to risk my neck to recommend you for the job. Please, sir. Please, sir, help me. I really need this job. Well, if you want me to risk my job, by ignoring one of the first major criteria for this job. It's up to you. Up to me? How? You see, you scratch my back and I'll scratch your back. I will show you kindness for kindness. But sir, I don't have anything on me now. Maybe when I start work. Oh, come on. Stop being a baby. What about getting to know each other better? After that, I will give you one week and you resume work here. You just tell the doctor to be expecting something from me by the end of the month or very soon. Huh? All right, take care of yourself, okay? Okay, now. Bye bye. you and this allergy Ahmed. That guy has blindfolded you in this town. Girlfriend, with the kind of money that man pays just to go to the back door, I'm not ready to see any other man. <laughs> 200,000 naira. Babe, forget it all. But don't you know that that thing has an after effect? I don't give a damn. You know I am so tired, I want to catch some sleep. I'm hungry, is there food in the house? Yeah, try the kitchen. Thank you, dear. 200,000 naira just to make love through the back. No, no, no. Suzanne is not telling the truth. 200,000 naira. That means five times is one cool million. And Susan has been seeing this man constantly.
Here. Take this hundred thousand naira. Thank you, Chief. I really enjoyed myself with you. I must confess you're really fun to be with. I swear if you continue to be this nice, I'll make your friend. What's her name again? Ijoma. Yes, Ijoma. I'll make her jealous. I promise you I'll always be there for you. Just anytime you say give me a call. <laughs> it's alright. Uh -huh. Unless I forget. I have a seminar coming up very soon. I'll want you to be at the Sheraton Hotel with me. Alright. I wish it's my command. It's okay. Uh, just continue to remain this nice. And anything you want, you will get. I All promise right. you. All right, just call me. Okay. Take care. Bye bye. Bye. Troubles I've had to keep my admiration to myself all this while. Well, I've been tripping for you myself ever since the first day I met you. But I've kept my cool because of my friend. I must confess, men like you are rare species. You're a very generous man. Thank you. And I'll be even more generous to you if, if you can give it to me the ultimate way. I have my own unique ways. I like going in through the back door, if you know what I mean. But I pay very well. Well, I, I have never done that before. Well, there's always a first time. I'll show you how. And I heard it's very painful. Not when it will make you 200,000 Naira richer. And an additional 50,000 Naira for being a virgin. I'll show you an experience you'll never forget. I don't know. Let's drink to that. I actually went out some friends. And you couldn't even call to tell me where you are. I'm sorry about that. You still remember? It's Gloria's birthday this evening. Yeah, yeah, she actually said something like that to me. And she wants us to come and help her with preparation. I'm almost getting ready. You mean now? Of course, there's no time. So you go and get dressed if you're going. So let me freshen up, you know, and Jane, so that I could look at it better. Okay. Just 
late now. Okay. Why are you walking funny? What's wrong with you? I actually went for some aerobics and um, my whole body is aching me. Don't worry about that. Okay. I'll be out in a jiffy soon. Be fast. Hey, turn around. What did you say happened to you? I was on a bike and then the bike got into this big pothole and then the seat rail got into me and ever since then I've been having this terrible pain. The accident has really affected your anal muscles. Am I going to be all right? Yes, you'll be all right. But you must avoid anything that's going to strain the anal muscles until you're properly healed. The anal muscles are designed to aid excretion. Therefore, any form of penetration is going to weaken them. And that may lead to involuntary discharge. Well, I'm going to prescribe this drug for you. You have to take them for some time, then you come back for a checkup. Okay? Okay, You can confide in me. I'm your friend. What's happening to you? Lately, every little thing, you defecate blood through your anus. And that's unusual, you know. <laughs> Karu, pro promise me you won't tell Ijo about anybody. Tell her what? It's Kule. It's Kule. Kule. You remember that guy that wanted to have an outside to the job? No, Cecilia. Cecilia. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Don't tell me you did it. Cecilia, you, you know my landlord actually gave me till this month to either that pay or count. I had to have shot. Oh my God. <laughs> How would you have done such an abominable thing? Mm. It's horrible sleeping with a man of that age. And more horrible letting him do it through your... your... What if you do ritual? God forbid. <laughs> Now you have to get the money, go to hospital and get yourself treated. Carol, you have to help me. You just have to help me, Carol. You just have to. Stop crying. <laughs> Sissy, the only reasonable thing to do now is to get dressed. I'm your friend. I will come to the clinic. I'll do it for you. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sir, there's a lady there to see you. She said her name is Gladys. Gladys? Yes, sir. Well, let her in. Or listen. After today, if it comes around again, tell her I'm not around. Okay, sir. Gladys. And how are you today? Fine, sir. I waited for your call. Oh, oh regarding the job. Well, I have finished with your file and submitted to the personnel department for final approval alongside with others. 
others. You mean I'm not the only one? No, 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 no. There are about 19 of you. Do you stand a better chance? Because the director is already interested in your case, based on our recommendation. Oh my God. But sir, you assured me I was going to get my appointment later and start work immediately. And, and now you're saying I have to to pass through another another person in another office? Gladys, that wouldn't be a problem. Wait. Take this. Go to the personnel department. Give it to the personnel manager and tell him you are from me. That's all you need. We're from the same place. Don't go anywhere. Forget about that note he gave you. They don't have any job for you. He promised me. Just the same way he has promised dozens of other girls. He simply wants to go to bed with you. This is a game? Of course it is. Before you know it, they have thrown you around their clique of friends. Each of them will go to bed with you with promises of a Buddha job that does not exist. Why are they doing this? It's a game. Just read the papers. If you see any job advertisement, you just apply officially. And God says you get the job, you get the job. Please be careful. Resume at a new place of work today. Gladys, what happened? Why are you crying? What are all lies? All lies. All you wanted was to sleep with me. Gosh! Same old story? That's still news in this town. We warned you. But you were wrapped on the sweet tongue of those I shall employ you crooks. All they do is share you amongst themselves, one after the other, with promises of jobs that doesn't exist. What am I going to do? I mean, how do I survive this town? Or any other town for that matter? I don't want to go back to the east. And Lagos is worse. What do I do? Well, 
first of all, you have to specify what you want. Mm -hmm. I mean, you were busy mapping out how to get what you want without even knowing what you want. I don't understand. All those men that you slept with, what did they give you? Nothing. Empty promises. So how about sleeping with men that will give you something for your trouble? That's right. Oh. You... Are you talking about prostitution? No. Corporate runs. Wait, wait. You are talking about me sleeping with men in exchange for money? Look, look, Gladys, listen, let's, let's look, at, look at it this way, okay? You want something from these men, and these men want something from you. So you all need to exchange. That's all. That is prostitution. Sorry. Corporate runs! I can't do that. I can't. Gladys. You have slept with how many men already? Yet nothing came out of it. Did you see? I was tricked. I was lied to. I was taken advantage of. It is not the same thing. Okay? Fine. From now on, you have to learn how to allow men trick you. Lie to you. Take advantage of you. And then pay some real cash for it. That's it. I can't do that. I mean, what will people call me back home? Jet! Junior Executive in Training! <laughs> oh my god, Gladys, Gladys. Look, Gladys. Look, what they don't know won't hurt them. Exactly. Ah, listen, let me go and show you something. It's about time you got to know the real deal. <laughs> Seven anymore. I'm done with that. That's right. What you did then was NYSC. What you are going to do now is NYCR, National, National Youth Corporate Ross. <laughs> this would kill me. Oh my goodness. This wake up. This is a puja. Wake up to the harsh realities of this life, my dear. You were just busy waking up every morning, wearing your suit every day, trucking the whole streets of Abuja, looking for them. You can't sense us again. Oh, poor child. Sorry, darling. going to exam. Nowhere in particular, just window shopping and looking around. I feel so awkward. 
Supposing we, we run into someone who knows that I've finished serving? Simple! Tell the person you had the problem and you were asked to serve for extra six months. But must we walk around in this? Yes! You see, men see coppers as less liability. But, before they know it, all women have the same problem. Let's go. <laughs> Where are we going to? There is this men's boutique somewhere around. Let's go and check it out. Men's boutique? Yes. <laughs> what are we doing in men's boutique? Because it's... that's where the men are. Come on! and this is my friend Diko. Nice to you. Are you coppers here on primary assignments? No, really. Actually, my father's birthday is next week, so we're here to get him a present. Interesting. I was actually wondering what two pretty ladies could be looking for in men's boutique. <laughs> Have you girls found what you're looking for? Um, well, no, not yet. Um, we've actually been here for quite some time and we don't seem to find anything yet. Well, this is the biggest boutique in town. Whatever you cannot find here, I wonder where you find it. So, should we just look around then? Or will you join us for lunch, after which we'll check other places? Okay, lunch is fine. This is not worth it. 8,000 for all that stress? Huh. That's 4,000 each. I can't, I can't believe it. And I thought those guys were bigger boys. After all their boasting. And all they did to us. Me, if I must do this again, I must negotiate them so. Before going anywhere with any man. That's the best thing to do. I mean, this is just, I, I don't know. Let's go talk to you. My boss is in the video. 
I'm still having pains. I will make it on Sunday if the pain subsides. Take care. Love you. Agnes. Hi. What is the problem? What is going on between you and my friend? What do you mean? Which of your friends? Agnes. I don't understand. Don't play smart with me. What is this? It's a text message. Is anything wrong with it? I bet you were sleeping with my friend and nothing is wrong with it. Look, Susan. Your friend had problems and she came to me and I helped her. You should be grateful to me. Made you a fool and a shameless man. You left your wife and kids in Lagos, and you're here in Abuja jumping from one girl to the other. I beg your pardon. What business is it of yours? You heard me, you shameless man. I will make you pay for this, even if it's the last thing I will do. We'll see about that. I will not even bother to remind you how many times you have slept with my friend Kumle.
get out. What? Snitch, get your things and get the hell out of my house this minute! Fine! Then I'm leaving! Forget it. Susan, you and Agnes have been friends for long. You're like sisters. Who are these men to cheer you apart? If Agnes can do this with my man, then she can do it to my husband if I'm married. No, 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 no. I don't think if you were married, you would leave room for such. Oh God. This girl betrayed the trust I had for her. Can't you see? Why? Susan, Susan, please, please, I beg you, forgive her. I mean, th these men are not worth it. They are not worth for you two to tear yourselves apart over them. Please, for my sake. Please, please, forgive her. Please, please just forgive her, okay? Please. I've been talking to Susan and she's really coming down. I don't need her charity. She is not my mother, neither is she my God. I am going. Tomorrow morning, I'll come back and pick up the rest of my things. Okay? Goodbye.
happened? Have you heard? What? External auditors have been invited to... Extern external auditors? I thought this issue of uh, Proop had died a natural death after we eliminated the DJ. Look, my investigations show that Amos is the brain behind it this time. If that panel goes on, they will investigate everything we have done. And we will be indicted. You know what EFCC is capable of doing? Must see him at once. This must stop. Let's go. We heard you make recommendations that our offices be probed and that the contracts we issued be revoked. Why? Well, I only did my job. The motion had been deliberated on before one dropped. Why bring it up again? Because of the discrepancies that brought about uh, the resolution to drop the audit. Listen, we had our procedures before you came into the ministry. I advise that in future you ask questions before you take certain decisions. Kunle, let's go. had been defeated. Now it has resurfaced. You brought about it, both of you. And now, the dark mountain is angry with you too. Uh, how did we cause it, wise one? Both of you shared one woman intentionally. And the dark mountain I'm not part of that. Wise one, I was only being my brother's keeper. I was helping out a brother who was in need. The laws of the dark mountain. No one bears another's burden. That's how your protection comes. Your evil is no longer shielded. Wise one, what must we do to stop it? You have one full moon to sleep with a dozen girls each. And if it is not completed by the second moon, the evil you run away from will come upon you. Wise one, Two moons are not enough to, to, to sleep with 12 women every moon. Getting one woman alone to agree is hard enough. <laughs> that is the only solution. You have no time. 
They want money. They need money. You've got the money, so give it to them. Good day, gentlemen. Please do sit down. Yes, how may I help you? Mr. Amos, we are really sorry about the way we spoke to you the other day. So we came to make you an offer. An offer we know you won't resist. Five million naira. Take the money and let sleeping dogs lie. <laughs> well, you know I cannot do that. I'm an auditor for crying out loud. Besides, I have my integrity and uh, career to protect. I won't do that for any price in this world. Seven million naira, Mr. Amos. That's two million naira extra. All you have to do is withdraw the motion for the probe with a single memo. I would suggest all you need to do is return the money you took from your ministry and tender your resignation. You must be out of your mind. Fifteen million naira and that's all. Take the money and consider this chapter closed. Perhaps I've uh, made an easy way out known to you now. Return the money you both embezzled from the ministry, tender your resignation and there shall be no further problem. Good day, gentlemen. Long, long, long before he even left school. Who the hell does he think he is? Look, getting rid of him is the only option we're left with. Let's go here. Let's go. him dead. Our success and existence have been threatened. A sacrifice must be made. Whatever sacrifice it is, we are willing to make it. It will shorten your lifespan. I'd rather live a shortened life than a long life of shame. The girl. The girl both of you shared. And all the girls you've slept with must be sacrificed. Their souls guarded. This is time for her. It shall, it shall be, be done.
Susan, what is wrong? Are you all right? Uh, but I, I don't know what is wrong with me. I think I have some serious messed up pain. Maybe you should go and see the doctor. Eh? I'll be fine. I'm sure I'll be all right when it starts flowing very well. I insist you go and see the doctor. The way you're turning and morning, this might not just be an ordinary menstrual pain. Eh? Gladys, I said I'll be fine. Ah! <sighs> Is there something you want me to bring for you? Okay, let me get water. Water to drink. Thank you. Involuntarily? Yes, Doctor. When I go to the toilet, I notice blood in my stool. Most times I'm afraid to eat because if I do, the pain will be so unbearable when I use the loo. Honestly speaking, your anal muscles have been tempered with. They are now so weak that they can no longer function effectively. That is the reason why you discharge involuntarily. Doctor, please, what can you do to help me? You need a surgery. Surgery? Yes, surgery. Is it that serious? Of course, it's that serious. It can even get worse if it's not properly handled now. Doctor, how much would this surgery cost? The surgery is going to cost about $20,000. And that's within the neighborhood of 2.6 to 2.8 million naira. My God, what am I going to raise that kind of money for? Well, I don't know. But since I'm speaking, you have to do something about it because your life depends on it. This is the place, since you insisted on saying it. Are you sure you don't want me to come in? There is nothing there, Alaji. Besides, my uncle will soon be back. I wouldn't want him to run into you. He should be mature enough to understand that you have your own friends. <sighs> He's a disciplinarian. And that's why I need you to give me some money so I can get a place of my own. Yeah, that's true. You really need a place of your own where I'll be free to come and see you whenever I want. Okay. Um. He 
here is a check of 300,000 naira. Thank you, sir. And cash of 200,000. Oh my god! Oh, Alaji, I am so grateful! Oh, thank you so much. This is, this is wonderful. Oh my god! This is nothing. Just make me happy and you'll have your own car by the end of the month. Of course. Oh, are you serious? Oh my god, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, I love you, Alaji. I love you so much. Thank you. I love you. you too. I love you too. Thank you. Okay, you have a great day. Thank you so much. You too. Bye bye. You mean he's not on set? I saw his car out there. And what makes you feel that he can't leave his car and travel? Very well then. I will sit here and wait till he returns. You must be joking. And you must be insane. Madam, you have to leave now. So you now have the guts to talk to me? Madam, please leave. You are constituting news as here. Please leave. How dare you! Hey, hey, hey. What is going on here? Ahmed, did you tell this thing to lie to me you were not on set? Come with me. What sort of nonsense is this? What do you want with me again? As you can see, my health is failing me. And I need medical attention urgently. And it is so devastating, it has affected your head so much, you don't know your way to the hospital? You are responsible for my health problems. And the doctor said I need about 2.8 million naira for the required medical treatments. I need that money from you. I have said it before and I'm saying it again. Leave my office and never come back. Let this be the last time. Save that for the dogs. You will give me that money or I will tell your wife everything. You wouldn't dare. Otherwise you'll be history in this town. I promise you that. I'm ready for you, Ahmed. I want the money in my account by tomorrow or you will not like where this will take us to. summon their souls but they refused to come to us you are not strong yet 
The abomination you two committed by sharing one lady is still draining your strength. We have no time, wise one. You have to help us. The battle is yours, not mine. But you are our exalted leader. Yes. But before the dark mountains, I'm just a servant. I can only intervene when you have direct spiritual attack. To get that power, you stick to the rules. Sleep with more single ladies. They die slowly while you become stronger. I mean, the odor is so offensive. You have to go and see the doctor and know what is wrong with you. So you can find out. But, but it's... Stop making excuses. You're going to see the doctor and get it over with once and for all. Okay. I will go see the doctor. I'm, I'm coming. Don't just go. Just say, I'm a unique kind of guy. I told you before, I have my own unique ways. And unique people love doing things in a unique way. Does that answer your question? <laughs> okay, so what's so unique about this? You know, the first time I was very gentle with you, because you were still a virgin. And now? Now I'm going to show you some things you never dreamt of. Again? Don't tell me you're scared. <laughs> Maybe when we're through that will answer your question. Mm. I'll show you is an unforgettable experience. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for a roller coaster? Ride? <laughs> Yes. Seriously. Mm -hmm. hmm? Time for some action. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. So just turn around. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat>
headphones to Celia's. Where is she? She traveled. Travel to where? Celia is in short in the toilet. Eat your mouth. No go mistress. Who told him? And who took her? Celia. You're not her. Is this man that pays the money to one of the thousand times just to sleep? Come on, stop lying. Did you, Oma? Even if the man meets money in his house. Uh, so wait, wait. Why hasn't he paid you? Are you not taking No. That's the thing. I don't want that kind of I think you do it alright, alright. So long as you go be my wife, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything you do is alright, alright. We're loving never part for life, alright, alright. Stay my right. One more for Charlie. Oh, show. Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. Babes that make you money. Yes, sir. I'll tell you people. I'll tell you sister. Hey, God. Hey, man. Why are you doing it? Don't talk to me. Ah, this is a good chance. Oh, damn. I'm going to say, wait. 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 Baby, what's up? Oh, I'm at Millennium Park with Priska and Cynthia. Okay, we're waiting for you. All right, bye. She's on our way here. So as I was saying, yes, I see. Hi, babes are making money, my dear. Yeah, clean cash, oh. I bet these guys are used to do shoes or something. I'm tired. 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 I'm and you don't even care to, to invite us to come and enjoy it with you. Eh? No, Sorry, girls. You see, he doesn't let me go away. He doesn't give me breathing space. Hmm. But I'm okay. surprised. Him. Talk about surprise. Let me guess. You got you you, you got a got some Jerry for us. This is my country. So why don't you girls join me? And have your own share of them. Are you talking about this thing? Anyway, you want to see it? Come on, come on, come on. 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 Come on, of Africa. This is the mother. Oh, look at this. You can wear it, admire it, play with it, and maybe eat it. What is it? A cake. <sighs> Exactly, what's wrong with you? Uh, huh? What's the problem? It's my period. It's usually like this. It's very painful. Well, not to worry. Today's just the third day. It's going be over. It's not part up to two weeks you told me something like this. Um, uh, well, uh, yes. Well, you know, sometimes I have an um, irregular menstrual cycle. Are you sure? <laughs> don't you trust me? If I don't tell you the truth, who else will I tell the truth? You're my all in all in this town. Yeah? The only man I know. I love you very much. 
I love you too, baby. Hey, my mate, that's this place uh, somewhere around me, Tama. It's a new joint. My friend told me they cook very well. Mm -hmm. So I don't really check it out for lunch. Okay, I'm even very hungry. Alright, so let's go. Okay, let me just have a call the dress. Why are you walking that way? I told you I'm on my period. It's it's like this all the time. Please let me let me go to the bathroom. What is it? Myself. Are you okay? Yeah. I find it very difficult to believe in that kind of house. What more proof do you need? Were you not there when the man called her? Forget Abuja girls. See, it could just be an arranged setup just to blow our minds. I don't think so. No. Well, I don't believe that car is hers. I still don't believe it. I am believing to believe each of my story. I think that man is a top politician. All right, tell me. What top politician would just meet a girl? Keep her in Charlton for this after paying her 150000 and still proceed to buy her a car? See, even if that guy has the keys to central bank vaults, I think something is cooking that we don't know about. Now you're talking. Something is really happening. And we need to know what, where and how. For Christ's sake, when Cecilia was working with the bank, she could barely buy authentic dresses. But see Cecilia cruising a car. I mean, in a new car. You know what I will do tomorrow? Once I get to the office, I will just tell them I'm done with this marketing job. So what will you be doing? I will dust my old NYSC uniform and proceed to join my mates at NYCR. Which one is NYCR? Oh, you don't know. National Youth Corporate Rums. <laughs> oh, what are you people? I know you don't speak. <laughs> I'm Okada accident. Okada has left my foot. See, I'm scared. I really have to share this with you in case if something happens. What is it now? You remember that man you told us that I've had you a hundred thousand? Yes, yes. To sleep with you. Yes, Kule, Kule, what about Exactly. It? Cecilia slept with him. God have mercy. What? <laughs> Ever since then, her life has never been the same. Nightmares today, bleeding tomorrow. Even her steps has changed. But it sounds her right now. It sounds her right. People must hear about ah, it. No, 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 no. You just have to broker such things about your friend. We have to help her. Help Please. her? How? But she caused it for herself. So she has to bear her own cross. I don't agree with you. Hmm. 
when the going was good, remember, we all enjoyed the time. But you know what? Now the going is tough. To your tent, O oh Israel. To your tent. IJ, it's not fair. You know, it's not fair. That one is your own stress, though. That one is your own stress. It's not fair. I'll see you later. That one is your own stress. I warned you. I warned you to desist from anything that's going to strain the muscles. Doctor, I tried my best. Your best is not good enough. As you can see, your health is deteriorating. And if it goes on this way, you will need a surgery. What? What surgery? The muscles and the tendons that surround the anus are getting very weak. I mean, your excretory organ is not effective anymore. Oh my God. Doctor, is there no medication I can get to elevate the pain and correct it? This is not a simple medication thing. Anyway, you have to go on with your drugs and uh, we'll observe you for some time. But remember, please desist from whatever that might have cost you this. Because it is eating you up. It is gradually eating you and destroying your life. Receptionist refused. Immediately I told her you sent me. I don't blame her. I cannot suffer this alone. And she brought this upon me. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Have you eaten? Have you been to the toilet? I don't feel anything. And when I do, it's so excruciating. The pain is unbearable. <coughs> so, this means for... For five days now, you've not been to the toilet. God. This is so deep. The smell is getting stronger.
There are two ladies here waiting to see you. Please come and sit here. I should let them in. Okay, sir. You are coming. Place your faces. As if you don't know each of my friend anymore. Oh, uh, I say, Ijama. The girl I threw that bed the bash for some time ago. Uh, please, uh, have your seats. Please. Thank you. You men are always narrow minded. Uh, forgive me, please. Uh, what do I offer you? Um, don't bother yourself. We'll soon be on our way, actually. We, we just came around the neighborhood and decided to say hi. Please don't. Don't say that, okay? One good turn they say deserves another. Pretty girls like you can just walk into my house and walk away just like that. No, no. What can I offer you, please? Well, I wouldn't mind brandy. Hennessy to be specific. Senior. Good. Two glasses coming up. <laughs> Stand us if we get tipsy. <laughs> you girls sound so interested. How come we haven't met all this while? That is because you have been looking in the wrong direction. I certainly must have. <laughs> Excuse me.
Just fell onto my laps just like that. Wow. They are wild and amazing. You can say that again. <laughs> but you know what? Uh, Apart from doing it with them, we can give them more money to get us more girls. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> you mean you didn't think about that? <laughs> Honestly, I didn't. I didn't. It will make it so much easier for us. Oh, that's an idea. You <laughs> after what we did with them. <sighs> Me too. Each time I use the loo, <laughs> the pain is so excruciating. <laughs> Are you sure this guy have not done something to us? You think so? C Cecilia is going through the same pain, remember? Hey, God, what are we going to do? Hey, I think those guys are using us for rituals. God forbid. It won't happen to me. Say they will die before us. It's not our portion.
God. God, that's why you're in my house today. I hope I'm safe. Alice, why are you like this? What is wrong with you? Gladys, I'm dying. I don't know what's wrong with me. Besides, how is Susan? That's the reason why I'm here. Susan is, she's in such a bad shape. That's why I said, let me come and see you. Maybe together we, we can figure out a way to send her to the village. See, is it that bad? Thank <laughs> you. 